What's up everyone? My name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com. If you are brand new to trading or are curious about trading at all, I want to let you guys know about a free two-hour mentorship course that I put together with my mentor, Bao. It is available at MyInvestingClub.co. The link is going to be right here. This is a free webinar with limited seating every week, so please click on the link and reserve your spot before the time runs out. Also, a special bonus for all of our viewers on YouTube. So if you guys have any questions about MIC or you're curious about joining or uh, you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you. Uh, you can now text Tosh, who is one of our head mentors and head moderators at MIC, and he'll answer any questions you have about MIC. His phone number will be in the link in the description, and it'll also be right here. Thank you guys for watching, and enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome to Day Recap. Today is Thursday, February 27, 2020. For the while since we just, the goal of Daily Recap is to maybe show you guys, you know, into the mind of how I trade. Remember, this is the way I trade. It may not be the way you trade, but this is just the way I trade, okay guys? There's many ways to trade. Some guys are better than I am. I am not the best, but you know, this is the way I trade. And so hopefully you pick up some ideas on how to, to basically you know, enter your trade. So with that said, the, the landscape of the market is crazy. Coronavirus has dominated all these trading algos and everything. And take this look. It's all started from this APT that started like a week ago from four bucks, dude. Four bucks to freaking 20. $2, which sparked off a bunch of sympathy plays that just demolished, demolished any short seller that got stubborn. Thankfully, we kept it safe because what we do is we keep it in the process and risk management is always the key, guys. My, I, I keep telling you guys, hard stops, hard stops, hard stops, hard stops. Hard stops are the way to go. Keep it to the good habit, man. Keep it to the good habit. So with that said, let's jump right into this. When I woke up today, you guys, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to give you guys background. So when I woke up today, everything was already up. Like they're up huge. You know, yeah, like stocks like APT. I'm like, dude, I'm going to nail this. I am going to nail this. I'm going to murder this stock. All this stuff, right? So you have stocks like CODX. You have stocks like APT. These are the head of the monster, okay? So what happens, these are the stocks that started all. Meaning when I say it started all, I'm saying it started to ramp up. So APT was the original guy and they make surgical masks. I think these, these masks, it's just, it, it ran on a hype. Same thing happened during SARS, Ebola, 9-11, you name it. Every major, major news thing you know, it comes up maybe once every six months, once every year, you have a major event, a news event that triggers a lot of these stocks to move like really crazy, right? And the last time was SARS, Ebola, uh, this, you know, before that financial crisis, whatever it may be, it gets hyped up, man. Eventually it's going to die down, but until then you, you got to be very careful. Okay. You, you can't be just, you know, if you just trading and you thinking trading is all about valuations, PE ratios, revenues, earnings, you're fucking, you, you're toast. So I see a lot of these expert guys are talking, Oh, this stock Tesla should not be up this much because you know what, man, my, my analysis, like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> the markets don't give a damn what you think. You know, uh, the markets run on hype. It runs on, if, if everything was trading the way it should be trading at the valuations that it should, the markets wouldn't be moving. It would be flat. There'll be no speculation. There'll be nothing for us to trade because everything is, oh, there's a formula, you know, based on this formula that uh, the stock needs to be this value because, you know, the PU ratio is an eight for manufacturing companies. And, you know, that's not how you make money trading, guys. That is the most idiotic way to make money. And that is, you know, th those are the people that do not know how to trade. Those are the people that do not make money because they cannot get wrap their head around why is a stock like APT ran from $4 to $20, okay? And that's the one thing that I learned quickly in my career that, you know, me being too smart does not make me money. Me being flexible, me following the trend, me realizing people are stupid, me realizing markets are irrational, that's what makes me money. So if I was a better trader, I would be long the stock, but I still cannot wrap my head around how a stock can go from four bucks to 20 bucks in three days. And I am very scared of always getting dumped on by an offering because the way I trade, I trade these uh, small caps for a reason. The end game is the same. It ends with a giant elevator down. We call it stair stepping up, elevator down. Because boom, you're just dead. So look at this, Corona. Look, look at this guy, man. 19 bucks down to $11. You go to the bathroom, you come back, and you're like, dude, what the hell happened? How could I be down? And so this is why shorts get demolished. I mean, first shorts get demolished on the way up. 
lawns get demolished on the way down. And we do not want to be that guy and kind of guy. So what, what, what I like to do is I like to keep a process, guys. I like to trade the same way all the time. I don't deviate from my plan. If I deviate, I die. So of course, I'm so attracted to training these things long. I'm like, dude, but I'm like, Ugh. every time I touch them, they freaking take. So you, you imagine, this is the, the, the common idea of what people do, right? So this is a, they're like, oh, I'm not gonna long this stock, it's red. And they, they, they short it and then they're down. And now they go, oh, fuck, dude. I'm like, dude, so they keep shorting. This is what happened. They keep shorting. Eventually, you're going to go, you know what, man? This thing is going to $20. I want to get in. I don't want to miss a boat. So they're buying all this. You know, they're buying it up, $18, $19. And next thing you know, it tanks down. So the point I'm trying to make is, who the hell knows what any of these stocks are doing? The only thing you can know is based upon historics and technical analysis and all that stuff, right? And if you take a look at a stock like CODX, there is really no history for this stock. There is what we call no overhead resistance, guys. So how can I, as a short seller, based upon this, know what the hell I'm doing? How can I, me being long side, figure out where I can buy and sell? It's all based upon emotions and hype and it's gambling. At this point, to be honest, it's gambling. You buy $16. It's now at $18. You feel like you're comfortable. You got a cushion. That cushion is erased within a matter of minutes. So in my opinion, when you trade these, don't touch these. Touch them only once the chart has been formed. Cool. Thanks, guys. I'm going to let you guys go. Who knows what it's going to do? It's too volatile. The easy money is over, guys. Easy money in the morning is over. All right. Have a good day, guys. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.